My name is Sam Tavalai, and today I want to talk about my TED Talk. I am in Mahdavi School. Mahdavi School is an echo school. We care about environment, and we are IB. And in our school, we have TED classes. Five years ago, there was a fire in Plasco Bazaar, and um, it was five years ago, so I didn't really know what it was. When I grew up, I found out about the fire, and I found my TED Talk with that fire. I am going to make a very big fire station in Canada and America. A fire station that is also called as a firehouse, fire hall, fireman's hall, and an engine house is an area that firefighters have all of their vehicles, all of their, um, like, um, telephones that they get, all of the uh, hoses, all of the trucks, and all of the um, things that they put down with the fire with. Fire stations are 24 hours, so a normal person needs to rest. And um, in 24 hours, he has to rest. So every firefighter has its own room, and in its own room has what an ordinary room has. Um, and um, a 24-hour fire station ha also has the um, living room, the kitchen, the dining room, and whatever normal house has. Now I want to tell you guys the, uh, the number of firefighters in the U.S. by age group, 218. The age is 16 to 19 years old, it's 3%. Because in these ages, they have to study and get the knowledge. It comes up to 29%, uh, to 20, sorry, 20 to 29 years old. It is 21% because they get older so they can do what firefighters do. It, then it goes to 30 to 39%. And this age, it has a much amount of people who were in f uh, being a firefighter because in these ages, they do the firefighting, mostly. The ages 40 to 49, it comes like older, so they can't do really what um, um, the ages 30 to 39 can do, but it's still 23%. The next one is 50, year, uh, the ages 50 to 59, that is 17%. And, um, <coughs> So it gets older and the average comes down. After the year 16 over, it comes down, so it's 9%. So we say that the ages 30 to 39 has the most amount of uh, people who wanted to be a firefighter in 218 US, United States. As I told you guys, my fire station is going to be fully electronic. And robots are electronic, so my fire station is going to use robots as humans. So there are no humans. And you see, Tesla cars use electric, so um, so they go really fast. So my um, the, the fire truck that I'm going to use has the, uh, is going to use the electricity uh, instead of oil. And for example, when the fire truck navigates where the fire um, the fire is, and after that, from that, it auto drives go to the fire. When it reaches the fire, the robot automatically come out and bring uh, and bring out the people, so there are no more people. After and uh, and after that, um, it, the hoses automatically come out. And it takes the hoses and put down the fire. And after that, people are saved. So the hoses automatically go in the truck. The robots come from the back and go in. And if a f another fire goes on, it repeats uh, what um, it d did last time. Um, and if it wants to come back to the fire station, it comes back to the fire station where the robots come out to charge because they they need batteries so they can be uh, like very strong for people and um, the hoses um, 
get um, go back and the fire truck goes there and refills the battery and finish. After all, this um, fire station that is fully electronic will help be, if, um, people be safer because, um, you know, as I told you guys, the Plosco Bazaar uh, had a fire and 30 firefighters were like injured or death. And this will be, uh, this will help the firefighters be safer and um, less work because we're about to uh, do the work really good and very faster and they have less work and they, uh, they save time to put down the fire because I told you guys, um, they, they do the work very quickly and very good. I dedicate this to the 13 firefighters who lost their lives in um, the Plasco Bazaar. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, goodbye.